<clears throat> I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, and I coach people and organizations to play big. I'm the head coach for JobSearchCoachingHQ.com and another site, NoBSCoachingAdvice.com. And I wanted to talk with you today about informational interviews. And I know you know the part about they're not about asking for jobs. However, they are about building relationships. And I want to start by talking with you about a couple of simple approaches to them. Now, here's one, and it's such a simple thing. If you're going to be uh, reaching out to someone to introduce you to someone on LinkedIn, for example, or elsewhere, give them an idea of the questions you want to just be asking this person. For example, someone emails me or messages me and says, could you introduce me to so-and-so? I'd like to do an informational interview or I'd like to pick their brain about something. Well, I don't know if that's going to be a worthwhile use of someone's time, but if you say to me, I'd like to talk with them about not finding a job, but I'd like to talk with them about you know, how their field is developing, how they got to their firm, uh, where they see trends are, you know, stuff along those lines that's not, um, shall we say, an abusive use of time. I'm very happy to provide an introduction and I could forward those questions to this person at the time I reach out to them. I think on LinkedIn in particular, that's a great approach, but it works outside of LinkedIn in the offline world as well. So that's one thing. Number two is after you meet with someone, Instead of the email thank you note, take the time to actually write a, hand, a thank you note. Handwrite it, assuming your handwriting is good, of course. You know, and if it isn't, be careful with your writing in order to ensure that you communicate clearly. But the handwritten quality to this is a nice touch. Now, I don't believe in doing that after a real interview because time is more of the essence and you don't have time to mail it before they make a decision. But since you're not applying for a job per se, what you're doing is picking someone's brain and opening dialogue with them that hopefully over time can develop a relationship where they feel comfortable referring you, where they may feel comfortable hiring you or talking with you about being hired. It's a relationship building tool. Time is not of the essence and thus a handwritten card is a nicer touch. Third thing, sometimes when you're in an informational interview, you want to create the circumstances for reciprocity. And I think this is a big strategy that people really neglect because they think it's all about me, what I need. And they forget to say things like, is there anything I could be helping you with? I don't know if you've seen my background or not, but this is what I do. And thus it opens up the possibility where they pick your brain for ideas. Now here's a fun approach. If there's something that you're asked about that you don't really know, Instead of just simply saying, that's not my turf, you know, I don't really know. Circle back after you've done the research, after you've taken the time to think and let this person see what you've researched and found out for them. Give them something back, even if you take more time than they did. Why? Do you think it's impressive, especially if the quality of what you've done is good? Do you think you create an impression? That's really what you're trying to do in all of this is to create an impression with someone and you know, receive information. So it's a two-way street here and you want to take advantage of the opportunity. So even if their first question or their fifth question is something that you don't know, go back uh, to them afterwards. Do the homework. Find out. Dig deep, put in effort, give it back to them and say, you know, I was thinking about our conversation and I know I came up blank on uh, your questions about such and such, but I did a little bit of homework and this is what I found. Now, you could also do this on a real job interview as well, but normally it's not enough to get over the hump and get uh, back, brought back into consideration. In informational interviews, since you're not being evaluated for a job, you, know, you create the impression of tenacity and perseverance 
and an effort which so few people demonstrate these days. Again, I'm Jeff Alpin, the Big Game Hunter, the head coach for Job Search Coaching HQ.com. If you're an executive who's interested in coaching, reach out to me, send an email at Jeff Alpin at the Big Game Hunter.us. In the subject line, put the expression coaching in there. And this way I know what it's about. In addition, if you're not in the C suite, if you're not a senior VP or, an ex or, or a higher level professional, the best place to connect with me is jobsearchcoachinghq.com. Come join the site. It has curated information about job hunting that will help you find work more quickly. Plus, you, know, you can ask me questions and I'll respond with answers that will help you with your search. Have a great day. Take care.